Greetings! This is a tutorial video on Math Trek. In this case, kindergarten to grade three. We will be using the light version um, for sake of financial means. But that being said, uh, we still get a pretty good idea of how this um, ministry approved program and actually app on the wonderful iPad I have here uh, works. So, Math Trek. What is Math Trek? Well, Math Trek is in fact an app that can be used on iPads, uh, mobile devices other than iPads, such as your iPhone, uh, your Android, um, or in some cases even uh, other devices such as Samsung and whatnot. Um, they can be downloaded. This one was downloaded through the App Store. So I'll just show you how I did that. So as you see, uh, App Store is set up pretty much uh, straightforward that way. Um, in my case, I did type in the top search bar here, Math Track. It came up with Math Track K to three light. You click on it. I've already downloaded it, so it does say open at this point. But you click on it, download because it's the light version. It is free. Um, however, it does cost uh, money. Uh, a decent amount of coin to download the full version. So um, it is produced and created by a company by the name of Nectar. They make other Trek games, uh, not the Star Trek games, but rather um, language Trek and Spanish Trek and uh, other more higher grade levels for Math Trek, in fact. So uh, they have some variety of choice, all of which you need to pay for. Signing up to use their products is free, um, but to actually physically start using them, you have to own them. Own them. Um, and with that in mind, it would be somewhat costly. Now, I consider this not to be an issue in terms of uh, something we as teachers have to pay for. This would, in fact, be something that uh, the school board would pay for or maybe just the school in general um, but it, it could be a very useful tool because what is math track well math track is a pretty fun little game um, as you can see there is a description here it basically talks about how math track k-3 light is a sample of six engaging math activities supporting common core learning for students in kindergarten to grade three and so uh, while this doesn't necessarily precisely connect uh, with with every curriculum expectation that we would hope to achieve, um, it does in fact touch upon a lot. So let's dive into the app. Math track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow math track to take over for a few minutes moments here. It is a rather loud game at times, but it does some pretty cool things. So we're going to work within the first kindergarten level game, farm mix up which includes data analysis. This is, whoa. Some objects according to specific attribute, or sort objects according to a specific attribute. Construct with assistance a graph using one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay, I'll play that. Pretty fun little loading screen. Farm mix-up. It's time to wake up on the farm. In this activity, we are going to help the farmer sort and graph the number of farm animals. Click one of the buttons below. So as you can see, and I'll show just a little bit for us, uh, there are buttons on the bottom. There's an exit button, a go button, a show button, a replay button, and a volume button. He is rather loud, but... Who doesn't love a bear that can guide us along? Um, and of course, such such figures, uh, yeah, you know, animals especially, but other inanimate objects, um, they can be great for students because they present a uh, a fun little tutor or guide. So uh, one thing I'd like to point out in terms of the text, um, not only does it does it show 
in words and in clear sentences what the bear is saying, but it even has a blue line that crosses over the words as he says them, which uh, students, you know, uh, gives them an idea of sentence structure, it gives them that basic understanding of here's how these words sound. And that's in a math program. <laughs> so we're, we're touching on some language, which why not? Cross curricular is always good. So we're going to go. We're going to give her a shot. Sort and graph the farm animals. Click the done button when finished. Pretty cool, right? So what do we got? We got chickens, we got horses, and we got sheep. Wow, chicken, move you up. Wow, oh, that's pretty fun. Oh wait, it just showed us what the sound a chicken makes would be. That's something that is also important to experience. It makes it fun and interactive. So you keep going. Oh boy, we had three of those. Now there's our horse, sounds great. And our sheep, excellent. At this point, I am going to turn the sound down just for now, so I can do more of this talking. But as you see, I'm just filling in the game. It's simple. Drag and click. Drag and drop. Bada boom, bada bang. So, I think I've got everything done. Well done. Excellent. So, this is just one of five levels for this game mode. And of course, this is just a light version of the app where there'll be many, many more game modes. So I'm going to exit now and go back and just take a look at some of the other games. Give you some more examples. Let's, let's look at Ships Ahoy. Yes, I'd like to play that. Loading is quick, loading Ships is fun. Ahoy! Hello. He's fun. Hey right there, matey. So I know what he wants me to do. He wants me to count, because I've done this before, I did test it out first. He wants me to put the number, or put numbers in the squares to make a subtr uh, s subtraction equation. And I'm going to click the done button when I'm done. So, what number minus what number will give me one of the numbers? Well, hmm, what works here? Well, I'm going to say that 2 minus 2 equals 4. Good try, but this is incorrect. Please try again. Well, obviously I knew that that was incorrect. But I love the way that the bear answers that for us, or responds to that. It's not a, oh, you failed, or oh, you screwed up. It's a more supportive, positive reinforcement to the fact that the student was incorrect. Um, but you need to, you know, let's, let's try it a different way. And I got the exact same question to do again. 4 minus 2 equals 2. Well done. Excellent. So you can see how this game would not only be fun for students, I mean there are levels that they need to achieve, or that they would like to achieve. It's fun and interactive. Everything has a setting. So while really what we're doing is math, um, in terms of subtraction in this case, and addition uh, also in, in this game mode, um, but sorting data analysis, let's actually go back to that main page, there's quite a number of uh, measurements and algebra and geometry um, that, that can all be tackled within this program and it wouldn't be a matter of in, instruction but practice, fun, um, using it in the classroom as a, uh, a reward per se where if a student does get their math done before the rest they're allowed to use the iPads um, and play this game, which really just means that they're continuing to practice their math skill, um, but they're doing it in a fun and uh, entertaining way for them, and even for you as the teacher to watch. If we look at the settings here, there is in fact a can Canadian spelling or American spelling preference. Um, I do find this quite uh, useful because many programs you'll see uh, online today uh, do in fact go by the American spelling and so some words such as color would be spelled differently um, and for students learning these new words and you know getting a grasp on them having a system tell you to spell color without the U 
um, could become quite uh, quite the dilemma for their own spelling ability. And what else does it tell us here? There are other settings, such as information. So like I said, it is a Nectar app, um, but there are no push notifications, so there's nothing that's going to pop up and get in your face. Um, there's no information collected from this, it's purely for entertainment. There are no ads that pop up, nothing that could uh, take away the focus of our students. Um, there's actually no integration of social media sites, which is a common thing you see in these uh, programs. Uh, um, they almost always connect to Facebook, and I guess Twitter is what they're saying here as well. Um, but not in this case, it's just about the content and the experience. There's no internet connection required, which is uh, you know, obviously pretty good too because a lot of these programs do need an internet connection to transfer information um, from the, the local server. And if you don't have Wi-Fi in your classrooms, that would make the program itself inaccessible. Uh, not in this case. The program is accessible. And there are no in-app purchases. Why is this a good thing? Well, I'll tell you why. Because you don't want your students going ahead and buying lots of stuff on whoever's dime. <laughs> Um, you buy the game, you have the game, students can play the game and learn while they do it and there's no risk of uh, purchasing or getting involved in anything they don't need to be involved with. So, this is Math Track, Kindergarten to Grade 3. Um, like I said, there are other versions that go higher in grade levels and tackle different subject matter. But overall, I think it would be a great resource for the classroom. It can be a, a, an expensive tool, but uh, that being said, um, having it in the classroom could only be an effective practice tool and a fun engagement for students. And in a perfect world, uh, you would have enough iPads so that the majority, if not all of the class, could play with it at could play on their own, uh, uh, you know, at their own leisure, but um, even if you would just have one, two, three iPads in the classroom for those students who do get their work done sooner, you could use it in such a reward uh, effect. So, math check, kindergarten grade three, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and keep an eye out for further tutorials that may come in the future. Thanks for watching.